Hey, what's good, everybody? This video is going to be a very different video from what I'm used to doing. Not only are we going to talk about the shoes, but we're also going to talk about the brand of the shoe. And me, as a, as a real consumer, you know, like just like how I normally do with my performance review, which I call my real reviews because I need, I just need to be real with it. Okay, this is going to be like a two-part video. Today is already what? The 26th. 12-26, 3.30 a.m. All right. When I got this, when I got the shoe, I got this uh, on the 23rd. Immediately, when I got it in the afternoon, I made a video out of it. So, obviously... You know, I was pretty excited. I was pretty excited making the video. And you you guys can actually see it on the very, uh, on the first portion. So, let's go ahead and see what that first portion is. And how I reacted, okay? And just, just check that out. Hey, hey, hey. What is good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dizo from Shades and Souls. If you guys haven't done so yet, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. Make sure to hit that like button to help my channel grow. And if you want to be notified for new videos such as this, make sure to hit that bell button as well. Alright guys, I am pretty excited with this shoe because I've been waiting for this shoe for quite some time. Uh, I thought it would be coming, like, I think I ordered this last September. I thought it was coming like at the uh, beginning or first or second week of November, but it didn't. But that's what happens if that's a pre-order shoe. Like, when you say pre-order, like it's not even made yet. Okay? It's not even made yet, but you're ordering it. So, I understand there's a delay process in some sometimes of, of that nature. But that's, that's the nature of the shoe game. Like, if it's not done, if it's not produced yet, you gotta wait. So I paid a good amount of money of this. Um, I got this from Saya Collectives. I've actually reviewed one of his shoes already. I don't know if you guys remember this. If you guys have followed me for quite some time, this is the VV1 White Glows. Um, I've posted a bunch of uh, on foot pictures and pictures of me wearing it in my Instagram. Uh, if you guys want to check that out. But enough intro, let's check this box out and what the shoe looks like, okay? Man, I am pretty fucking excited. Let's do this shit right now. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Let's go, let's go. So, as you can see, SIA, that's somewhere in America. Premium boxing. Look at that, man. Look at that. I don't know, I don't know if my light's picking it up, but look at that, bro. Ah. Style number, color is black, size is eight. I did not go through the size because that was what was explained that if you are a eight half it's best to go a eight or go down half a size so we'll check it out the box feels feels pretty premium for a good amount of price for this presentation bro this is pretty nice magnetic box see that magnetic box Woo! check that out check that out what else do we have in the box? So we got silica gel. I know, I know. We don't need to talk about that. What else comes in the box? Extra rope laces right there. Aglets. Gunmetal aglets. In those aglets, let me see if uh, my camera can pick it up. It says Saya Run. 
Put the aglets on the side. Let me put that box out of the way. So this is like a, a water repellent type of plastic, like a Ziploc, zip tight type of bag. Saya right there, somewhere in America. And these shoes are called the Saya Runs. Let's unveil the shoe, man. I am pretty freaking excited. All black, let's go. Black excellence. That's what the name the colorway is. This is the Saya Run Black Excellence. Now, why is this shoe a premium shoe? Bro, look at that, bro. Look at that. All right? Now, feast your eyes on this, right? So we got we got the outsole, we know that. Now I know it looks thick, I know it looks bulky, but bro, check out how soft that is. Mm. Check out how soft that is, man. Check that out. Comfort, we got that. As the outsole right there. Why would I pay premium money for this? For the premium materials? Check this materials out. We got some high grade suede right there. We got Italian leather right there. Another suede overlay right there. Stingray leather. Get that? Stingray leather right there. Italian leather. We got pebbled, pebbled grained leather right there. See that? And then we got python leather right there. As that python, bro. Python leather. All right. Now in the back, we got that gunmetal buckle. Yeah, you can take this out and all that, but I'm not gonna be doing it. I don't wanna break it. I haven't played with it that much, but uh, I will after this video. Inside, we have a patent leather overlay right there, and then a patent leather on the tongue as well. Most of the, most of the tongue is Italian leather. We have Python leather again. Bro, it's a, bro, just the shoe in itself has a bunch of overlays, man. And the leather quality, bro. Whew. Oh my God. Oh my God. The detailing, just, just the detailing of the shoe, the overlays. And then, oh, and one more thing. One more thing. Check this out. Check this out. These guys are 3M, bro. 3M material right here. 3M, like all the dots right there from the uh, Italian leather. That's 3M. The laces are 3M. Everything in the tongue is 3M, like the dots are on there. This portion right here is 3M. Yeah, man. So as you can see on the very first video, I was pretty happy with the damn shoe, right? Like, you can see how excited I was. You can see how proud I was of the shoe now this second portion like right now I will talk to you about accountability and I don't know man customer service all right just plain up customer service and once you have a brand or once you have you've made your own brand bro I I would really suggest that um just take care of the people, man. Like, we pay good money for products, okay? We pay, you have an honest paying job, I have an honest paying job. And the reason why we buy is for quality. Now what people don't really think about is customer service. And putting, putting a brand accountable for 
the things they say they're going to deliver, but fail to deliver. I am, I am going to be one of those voices right now, which will address that. And this is what I'm talking about. Here is um, Devlin Carter, or a.k.a. Saya Collective, uh, under the name Saya Collective, and his Instagram post. So check this out. You guys, they will begin shipped to me next week from the factory, and you guys will be receiving yours shortly after that because I'll be shipping them as soon as they arrive. So thank you for being patient because this was our first shoe that I did with my Saya brand. And for you guys to wait and be patient, I really appreciate that. So look at these beauties. These are the all black ones. Let's turn the flash on on these things. So they got that hidden 3M reflective everywhere. Right, we got those. Let's see what else it comes in. So you get this little box right here. And inside this box is filled with more goodies. So in this box, you got your extra rope shoelaces. You got your aglets and your screwdriver keychain to screw these on here. Also, all your shoes will come with these shoes trees inside of them. So it's a lot of good work in here. You know, I hope it was worth the wait for you guys. And like I said, I appreciate it next week. So as you can see, as well as posted under Saya Collective's Instagram, he promised the shoe having good, good quality as a product. We have that, we have that right here. We have the reflected 3Ms, I showed that in the first portion of the video, right? But along with those, the materials inside the box should have been the shoes, the bags that it came with, the jewelry box, rope laces inside the jewelry box, Aglets inside the jewelry box. Aglet screws for inside the jewelry box. The screwdriver. And he even promised all of the shoes to come with shoe trees. Every content that I did discuss that should have been inside the jewelry box. The only things I ever got was the extra rope laces the aglets no screws for the for the aglets no screwdriver to use for the screw or um, for the aglets to screw in the shoe okay so that part's missing no shoe tree that part's missing the reason why I say this video is about accountability is because if you're a startup brand and mind you this guy is military I gotta hold this dude accountable bro if I'm gonna pay 400 bucks that comes with missing items I will let you know and that's the real part of it so I did address the issue I did talk to him not talk but I did direct message him because he 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 contacts um he uh, responds to people over that sometimes you know and i'm just fortunate enough that he did the unfortunate part is how he deals with customers this is not this was not the first time okay i also had issues with him when i had the vv once but we'll be discussing about this shoe for now so this was the conversation this is how he responded and this is how I responded back so if you're a paying customer who waited for let's see September or let's I think this was August when I made the order or September so let's just say September, October, November, December. I waited three months for this. I paid 400 bucks for this. To have missing items. Yes, I'm, I'm not saying I don't like the product. I like the product, okay? Don't, don't get shit twisted. I like the product. But the fact that you promised something, you failed to deliver. 
I'm just being straight, man. And you tell me to just use glue when in fact, bro, I don't, I don't, what, um, I don't need to compromise for something that I should have gotten in the first place. Okay, I don't, I don't need to do that. That's why we want to pay for the product is product quality, product itself, and what was promised with that product. So you say just use a glue, right? So if I if I do use a glue, bro, you're supposed you're the one who made the shoe, you're the one who designed the shoe. Okay, let's say I use a super glue or whatever. If I put this here using super glue, you gave the shoe two different laces. How else am I? And to use the tip for this one on a different lace. Am I just gonna pull it out? No, not, not anymore, right? But if I had the screw, that's a whole different story. Because then I could just screw this. And then if I want this on the other lace or other set of laces, the reflective laces, I could just unscrew it and put it over there. But well, that's one thing I'm very pissed off about. And now, it just made me realize, like, you already fucked, you already fucked me once. You fucked me twice with this. And the way you deal with customers is, I don't know, man. I don't know if I'm willing to drop down uh, more money for your product. Uh, like I said, I love, I love the product. I love the quality of your products. But where is the quality check when it comes to finishing? I mean, the finished product's nice. The finished product's nice and all. But I'm saying like the final detailing, putting in the right materials, fulfilling what you promised, all that stuff. Don't say something. Don't promise something you're not able to, to do. Okay? So... This was the issue with the Saya Runs. By the way, I, I, after the 23rd, after the unboxing and all that, I wore this. Like The, the shoe is pretty uh, comfortable. And uh, it, you know, although this feels, and this looks like a little bulky, it was, it was actually pretty comfortable. So what was my issue with the VV Ones? So I messaged him, just like I did. Just like I did the, with the Saiyan Runs, right? The issue with the VV1s was not quality, but again, like just the finished product. So one of the Velcros was not glued well, okay? So check this out. This was the one I was talking about. See that? This is supposed to be the Velcro right there, and then this is not glued that well. This was how it was when I got it, okay? This was this side is good, but still have like you know some portions right there that's not glued that well. So what's my issue with that one? That itself is an issue, okay. But I'm saying like if I forget if this is not glued well, if I pull this off right here, there's a huge chance that that velcro is sticking right there. And then I just tear tear this one up without without thinking. Like I could just tear this up when I pull it like that. When I when I unvelcro it. So that's the main issue, and that's and so I messaged him again, and this again this is how he responded. So there you go. Um, that was my experience with Saya Collectives, Devlin, AKA Devlin Carter. Um, this was 400 bucks with missing items. And mind you, I also contacted other, others who commented under, um, under his page who bought the shoe. And they were all, they were all also missing the shoe tree, the screwdriver, the screws for the aglets. 
you know, it would have been, it would have been better, bro, if, uh, you would have just gave us eight pieces of aglets, right, like, one for each tip of the laces, together with the, with the other, uh, lacing, or the reflective lacing, and then, uh, the other shoe, the uh, the VV ones, I think I paid about 300 bucks for those. So, you pay that amount of money. He gets some money. You get the shoes way, way later than you should. You know, it's not... Like I said in the video, like I said in the first portion of the video, like I understand the product. I understand the process to get to the product. So, we're, we're already there. We're already waiting. Why not make everything perfect as you promised? Not only so you're swaying us to buy your product for the quality, but we get the we get the quality, but everything else that you promised was wasn't there. And on top of that, you treat your customers like shit. I'm I'm just gonna say it straight up. You treat your customers like shit. Lest you forget it's the people. I understand your desire and uh, your ambition to get there is one thing. But you cannot deny that another another portion of success is because especially in business and marketing is the people that get you up there which are which is your customers treat your customers better treat your customers better so that's it that's my real review for the shoe um i hope you guys learned something today and if you do make your own brand or whatever like i i i know i have i don't have my own brand okay but this is me speaking as a general consumer of a product that I used to believe in. I believe that's why that's why I fucking pay that that amount of money to get the shoes because I used to believe that oh this dude is straight. Like this dude is straight. But this is twice already, man. This is twice already. I can't I can't just pay good money and then compromise afterwards. Cause fuck that. Alright, fuck that. So Take it as it is. Whether this was a good or a bad review for you, fuck it. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for your support. I'll see you guys soon. Peace out.